we are providing only 20% video as a part of promotion. For remaining 80%, that is 6 to 8 articles, current affairs video, NCERT videos and general studies complete videos, please subscribe to our complete package. 1. Zika virus kills cells that form key brain tissue, report. GS Paper 3, Issues Related to Health and Human Resources Note, for much more information on Zika watch February 15th video. What does the report says? Zika virus kills the type of tissue found in the developing brain, researchers have shown. It was able to destroy or disrupt the growth of neural progenitor cells which build the brain and nervous system, in lab tests. The discovery, published in the journal Cell Stem Cell, adds weight to claims that Zika is causing brain abnormalities in babies. The virus was able to infect up to 90% of neural progenitor cells in a sample leading to nearly a third of cells dying and the growth of the rest being disrupted. Did the researchers give direct evidence that Zika virus is the cause for microcephaly? Neural progenitor cells are especially vulnerable to the Zika virus. They are giving rise to the cortex, the primary part, of the brain, that shows reduced volume in microcephaly. But this research does not provide the direct evidence that Zika virus is the cause for microcephaly. It has to come from clinical study. What are the unanswered questions about Zika virus? Why are the symptoms in adults so mild? How is the virus entering the nervous system of the developing fetus? Can people visit the Zika-affected country? Only pregnant women have been advised to reconsider their plans to visit countries affected by Zika. It is thought that within the female body the virus can travel across the placenta and affect the health of an unborn baby. There has been a surge in microcephaly, in which the baby's brain does not develop properly, in Brazil. And it adds that pregnant women who have to travel should take scrupulous measures to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes. Women trying to get pregnant should talk to your doctor about your plans to become pregnant and the risk of Zika virus infection, and, strictly follow steps to prevent mosquito bites during your trip. Is it safe to get pregnant after visiting? Zika lingers in the blood for approximately a week. The virus will not cause infections in a baby that is conceived after the virus is cleared from the blood. There is currently no evidence that Zika virus infection poses a risk of birth defects in future pregnancies. How to avoid mosquito bites? People are advised to Cover up with long-sleeved shirts and trousers. Use insect repellents such as those containing DEET or picaridum. Apply sunscreen before using applying insect repellent. Keep doors and windows closed and to use air conditioning. What if you are exhibiting Zika symptoms? If you have symptoms such as fever, a rash, joint pain or red eyes. Take medicine, such as acetaminophen or paracetamol, to relieve fever and pain. Do not take aspirin, products containing aspirin, or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen. Get lots of rest and drink plenty of liquids. Prevent additional mosquito bites to avoid spreading the disease. 2. Greenland ice sheet getting darker, up smelting risk. Study. GS Paper 3, Environmental Impact Assessment. Why is it in use recently? Greenland's snowy surface has been getting darker over the past two decades. 
A new study says it is due to absorption of more heat from the sun and snow melt has also increased as a result. The results show the trend is likely to continue, with the surface's reflectivity, or albedo, decreasing by as much as 10% by the end of the century. Why the Greenland ice sheet getting darker? The soot blowing in from wildfires contributes to the problem. During a warm summer with clear skies and lots of solar radiation pouring in, the surface starts to melt. As the top layers of fresh snow disappear, old impurities, like dust from erosion or soot that blew in years before, begin to appear, darkening the surface. What is leading to the melting of ice? As the snow melts and refreezes, the grains of snow get larger. This is because the meltwater acts like glue, sticking grains together when the surface refreezes. The larger grains create a less reflective surface that allows more solar radiation to be absorbed. What are the global implications of Greenland's melting ice? Fresh melt water pouring into the ocean from Greenland raises sea level and could affect ocean ecology and circulation. What is albedo? Albedo is a measure of the reflectivity of a surface. The albedo effect when applied to the earth is a measure of how much of the sun's energy is reflected back into space. Overall, the earth's albedo has a cooling effect. What is the significance of albedo? The Earth's surface is a vast patchwork of colors, ranging from the dazzling white of ice and snow, to the dark surfaces of oceans and forests. Each surface has a specific effect on the Earth's temperature. Snow and ice reflect a lot of the sun's energy back into space. The darker oceans absorb energy, which warms the water. Oceans help keep the earth warm because they absorb a lot of heat, approximately 90%. This warming increases water vapor, which acts as a greenhouse gas and helps to keep temperatures within ranges humans have largely taken for granted for millennia.